Happy new month. Welcome to the month of June. It's the first day of June and we're going to be reviewing the Open Heavens Daily Devotional looking at the topic, Love Gives. Love Gives. Let us pray. Our Father, we are grateful for keeping us alive, for this privilege to witness this new month. We're grateful for the opportunity to study your word. We ask that you please teach us yourself and let your name be glorified. Let's Lord also be, let's access these gifts that you have, oh Lord, that you've already made available for each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. You're welcome once again. Love gives is the topic we're considering. And we'll look straight into our Bible reading, Romans chapter 8, reading verses 31 to 37. Romans chapter 8, verses 31 to 37. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's if God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for thy slaughter. The last verse. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. See? We are conquerors because God loves us and because he has given Jesus Christ to us for our salvation. So love gives. If, if you want to measure love, so to say, you, one of the major things you would see is that there must be an exchange. If, if you want, if there's a relationship and you see there's love there and you can't see an exchange, you can't see a sacrificial exchange in it, then you want to check it again. It just may not be love as a matter of fact. And we see our memory verse here says from 1 John 3, 16, Hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. See, God demonstrating his love here by giving Christ unto us. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, mention faith, hope, and love as three abiding grand virtues. However, saying love is the greatest amongst them. God loves us so much, and he, he, if he could give us his only begotten son, then what would he then withhold from us? So we may ask ourselves if there's anything at all we've, we've been asking the Lord for and we've not accessed it. Might it be that we aren't asking a right, or might it be that we are not even in that love relationship with him yet? Might it be that we've not yielded our lives completely to him? Father, let us share the prayer ahead, you know, aligning with the second part of our, our memory verse that says, we should also lay down our lives to our, to our brethren. We should show love to those around us as well. Share the story of someone who, who met a relative at the Holy Ghost service and said, ah, Wow, I just started coming to this service and then the relative said, oh, I've been coming for long. And she was upset and said, ah, this is not fair. You don't love me because if you do love me, you would have told me since that this kind of service exists here and we would have benefited from it. In essence, what this is saying is, if you truly love those that are around you, you wouldn't be watching someone who, hasn't, who is a non-believer and not be pushed, be drawn to share the gospel with them. Think about it. If you truly love your family members, you would not be looking at them to go, um, to, to perish in sins. You would share the gospel with them and encourage them, of course, to yield their lives to Christ. You wouldn't want them to go to hell. As a matter of fact, you could even buy a copy of this devotional and give to such people to ensure that at least there would be a contact for them and this may just be the avenue that God would use to arrest them and save their souls. Love gives. We've got to share the gospel and God has already 
shown us that there's nothing at all that we need that is too huge that he cannot give us because he is love himself. Now our key point is the greatest gift you can give to someone is to show them love by show them that there's love and then don't hold the gospel back from them. Do not hold the gospel back from anyone. And if by chance you're listening to this and you've not given your life to Christ, it's just an opportunity for you to say, Lord Jesus, forgive my trespasses, cleanse my sins with your blood, and please bring me into your family that I may benefit from the gifts that you already have, O oh Lord, for your children. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Congratulations if you shared that prayer. And I'll say, welcome to the family of God. Ensure that you share the gospel with others as well. God bless you.